Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we are continuing on with our ship, uh, and actually one thing we are doing is deleting the crane. Now you might think that's a bad idea, and I, I kind of feel like we want a crane, or we should probably have a crane, but it is causing a few issues. So, um, yeah, you can actually see the issues right now. I am going to try and fix this real quick with the crane on board though, so let's try that out, and then uh, I guess we'll see what happens from there. Hey! Okay, so I did get a little bit of help from someone called Shadow, and we also got help from Ack Original as well. Uh, and basically what they said was, why have you got your tilt sensor on the top of your crane? Because obviously the top of our crane actually turns, um, <laughs> meaning that instead of actually trying to stabilize side to side, once our crane was fully sideways, it was then trying to stabilize front to back, and that just doesn't make any sense. Um, so yeah, we're going to lower this thing down. Uh, to a point where it can be safe, there we go, and we're just going to merge this back on. Perfect. We're also uh, going to actually delete this. We, we don't need it. Uh, we don't need this either, and we, we honestly don't need any of this. So we're going to get rid of this entire piece, uh, and hopefully that's okay. Yep, delete that piece, delete this piece, and delete that as well. Awesome. So yeah, we're focusing on this for right now. If I spawn it in now, it should act a little bit better, probably. Let's have a little lucky here. I guess. I think that's acting a little bit nicer. Uh, but essentially, we're just going to have it be a cargo container um, transport. And then if you want to actually take the crates off, you're going to need a crane on the land. Which, I guess, doesn't make too much sense. But, um, yeah. It solves a lot of our problems. Okay, well, it is actually still wobbling around. So how about we try something else, okay? We've already got this, uh, and that's fine. However, what if... We, we do what we did with our plane yesterday. We get ourselves some pivots. Here we go. Go on the inside and do it on both sides. Here we go. Let's see how this works. One, two, three, four. All right. We'll go to the back. We'll do four there as well. One, two, three, and four. We go forwards. We'll do it here. One, two, three, and four. And we go all the way to the front. Uh, one, two, three, four. And then we do it here. All right. Awesome. So... This might actually help us. At the same time, it might not. Let's see what happens. Yeah, see how buoyant we are now? <laughs> it's so much more buoyant. It doesn't really help with weight. But actually, because we are so much more buoyant, we can put more weight in the bottom. And that will allow us to be a little bit better, which is awesome. So, let's do that. Here we go. Delete a big long line down the middle. To a point, though, we're not going to go underneath the bridge. Because obviously that's really heavy there. Uh, let's go to... Here, yep, and replace all of that with weight. Yes, all right, from there, all the way to the back, whack it in. Oh, what? Sometimes it doesn't work. All right, there we go. Whack it all the way into there, spawn it in again, see what happens. Here we go. We want to weigh it down enough so that it stays in the water, and we want to weigh it down enough as well so that it actually stays stable too. Our stabilizer at the minute is actually putting us off too. We have a little look on the inside of here. As soon as it goes fully to one side, it needs to go fully to the other. And that just doesn't work out. Because then it eventually flips itself over. Okay, so uh, we are actually going to delete a bit of this as well. We're going to delete this little section right here. That's fine. It allows it to go further to the side, which is awesome. Uh, what else do we have here? What else do we have going on? So, um... Doo -doo 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 -doo. I think this is alright. So where does this go to? That goes to there. Interesting. Okay. Uh, this goes down to there. That goes up to the uh, thingamabobby at the top. And that actually turns it on. Okay, interesting. I think we delete this and we just put a normal PID in. Okay, so I actually let it just do its thing for a second there. And uh, it doesn't actually flip over. So it goes fully to one side. It goes fully to the other side. But it isn't actually tipping over. So... Something we've got in here is right, uh, which is perfect. And you know what I think we've actually got right? Is we've actually added these pivots. And um, yeah, they're not actually letting it slip over, which is nice. All right, so I do want to try something out then. I'm actually going to take the whole system out that we've actually put in. That took a while to put in, but we're going to we're gonna get rid of it. So we're going to delete all of this. We're going to delete all of this. And we're going to delete all of this. There we go. Delete everything. We don't want any of it. No, 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 no. All right, get rid of that. Get rid of this. 
and get rid of this. There we go. Also, get rid of all of these and um, spawn it in. So now it shouldn't actually start moving at all, and it should be completely fine, which is awesome. We're also going to go ahead and get inside the ship and move the crane around just a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was fast. Uh, move the crane to the side. Oh, which does make us list. However, it's not actually putting us... It's not actually making us list fully, which is awesome. Uh, if we do this, we should be able to pull the thing in, which indeed we can. Um, and that's awesome too. Alright, cool. So, now that we've actually figured that out, we need to figure some other things out. Essentially, the weight... We need to make a weight block that... Um, I, I guess it needs to be for 4,000 pounds. So, we need to try and uh, figure that out. We need a 4,000 pound block. Okay, so what I've actually done here is I've put something on that side, which is actually... Whoa! It, it is tipping us over, and it is listing quite a bit. Um, but essentially, on this side, we've added 261... Oh, no! 435 uh, pounds. So 435 pounds of weight has been added to the side. And I can't get out of the water. This is annoying. Hold on. Way out of body experience and bosh. Uh, so that right there is the amount of weight that we will have in the containers, if that makes sense. So if we only put one on and we put it on one side, we would be weighed down uh, to the side this much. If we put two on, we would obviously be listing a little bit further. And if we put a few more on, we'd be listing a lot more too. Um, well, actually, no. If we put them like... Okay, so let's say we've got four containers. We would obviously put this one on first, then we'd put this one on to counter that. Then we'd do the same thing right here, one there and one there, and then that should work fine. So, how sh well, how deep does it go if we add all of them? Let's have a little look at that. There it is. Okay, so that's it with all of the weight on board. Obviously, the front end goes out the water a little bit, but it's not too bad, actually. That's not too bad at all. Um, that is all the weight that it would ever be carrying, so I guess that's fine. Yeah, that is actually fine. Nice. Okay, so instead of worrying about the actual stability system as of right now, we can get help with that soon. Uh, we're going to go downstairs and we're going to work on the engines a little bit. Now, I'm not going to connect the power or anything like that today. Uh, but what I am going to do is I'm going to fix all of these together. So we've got exhausts that need to be done. We've got air that needs to be done. We've got coolant and we've also got fuel that all needs a place. At the minute, we don't actually have fuel anywhere. So I'm thinking the fuel's going to go uh, towards the front. It's actually going to go around here. Uh, because if we're going to have weight on the back a lot of the time, we're going to put the weight at the front uh, that we can actually change, which is fuel. So, yeah, it's going to go from about here to about here. That's how big the fuel tank's going to be. So let's actually figure that out. In fact, make it go to there. That's fine. Uh, but we'll also make it go to here. There we go. All right, delete. Actually, no. We'll just have it in the middle. That's fine. Do, 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 do. Uh, right, fix this together like so. We'll actually have it come up. Uh, and yeah, the fuel tank is going to go on the inside this time instead of the outside. Not really, No real reason for it. I just want it to. So there we go. Right, go ahead and go from here all the way to the wall. Very nice. Uh, do the same right here. In fact, actually, wait. We'll put a block right there, too. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to go across right here as well. This is also going to do the same thing. Yep. And you know what? We might as well do this. There we go. All right, cool. So, this is going to be our fuel tank. And I think that's enough, probably. So, attach this together. Right there. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. We're going to put a dial in. We're also going to put two things in uh, right here. So, dial. Yes. All right, here we go. Dial's going to go right there. And that's going to say fuel, fuel, fuel. There we go. Right, good. So, that's fine. Um, then we need to add some other things. Some other things. We need fluid um, meter. Yeah. Okay, we're going to put a fluid meter in right there. Going backwards. And we're also going to put a fluid spawner in it as well. There we go. Very good. Okay. Do that. Nice. Um, right, so... We're going to have to get the fuel pipes to actually get to there, which means they're going to either have to go down or up. I'm thinking down. We'll use the floor, and we'll be able to get them all the way to the inside really easily, actually, probably. 
So, uh, down, delete that one. Down, delete that one. Oh, down and... Oh, yeah, this is going to make things interesting. Down and sideways this way. Down and sideways this way. And, yeah, delete things. Here we go. Delete those. Delete those. Do, 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 do. Yep. Um, is that right? Is that right? I don't know. Yeah, redo that. Redo that. Yep. Uh, we're gonna... Yeah, that's fine. Actually, delete this piece as well. We can actually then delete a massive row. So we can actually get to the front. Uh, to about here. And then we can make them both go inwards. Nice. Alright, then we need to do the other ones. Boom, 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 boom. Go underneath. Let's delete that as well. Why not? Here we go. All the way to... The inside of here. Yep, that's gonna work. And that's nice. Alright, cool. So these are gonna be pipes now. And that's all we need to do. So, pipe. Let's go get a straight pipe. There we go. Make it this right color. Put it right there. Drag it backwards. All the way to the end, pretty much. Do the same thing right here. All the way to the front. Yep. Uh, do the same thing right here. So, the problem with the pipes actually being in the floor is that if we damage the floor, we've obviously got an issue. You know? We do. We, we will have an issue if we damage the floor. Uh, right, okay, go backwards. This one needs to go up there. And then we need an angled piece. Because we need the other ones to go up too. So, put that there. And then have it come upwards. Put this here. Have that go upwards. And up it goes. Alright, awesome. That's going to go up to there. This is going to go up to here. And we're just going to fill in the floor for now. Alright, good. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is good. All right, cool. So, we're going to pipe this into the side, obviously, right there. We're going to do the same thing on this one. Oh, and I haven't mirrored it. Oh, I haven't mirrored any of it. Oh, that sucks a lot. It's okay. We can just copy and paste it. It'll be fine. Maybe. It might be fine. It might not be fine. Whatever. Right, okay. Put that there. Put this here. Delete this one. Put this in here, like so. Obviously, make this go up. Yep, make this go up. Yep, and attach these together. One there. One there. Alright, awesome. Good. So yeah, we're going to copy and paste this into the other side. And then we'll start building the rest of the things. Alright, there we go. Uh, I've got it on both sides now, which is uh, perfect. Right, okay. So we're going to go down from there. We're going to go down from there. We're also going to do the same on this side and this side. I need to do this on both sides of the ship. What am I doing? Come on. There we go. Alright, delete this. Delete this, delete this, delete this, okay? Delete that one, and that one. Oh, that, that's annoying. That's actually really annoying. Delete that one as well, that's fine. All right, cool. So, uh, essentially, all we need to do there is we need to get some fluid uh, ports, these things. Point them downwards. All right, awesome. Put these in everywhere. One there, one there, one there. Uh, we need one in here too. Is that right? Yep, that's right. We need another one. I want them all facing sort of the right way. There we go. The same way as each other. Uh, we actually need one there as well. Which I forgot to put in, obviously. But there we go. So we should have we should have eight. Uh, and we do actually have eight. Okay, awesome. So that's actually going to be our cooling. Literally all we need to do for the cooling is we need to drag these upwards and put them in there. We need to do the same thing right here also. And we need to do the same thing right here. There we go. Upwards. It's obviously going to have to go sideways, but that's fine. Um, same with this one. It's going to have to go sideways. This one is not. There we go. And this one is obviously going to have to go sideways as well. So, put this in. Good. Uh, put this in. Good. Do this one. Yeah. Do this one. Oh, no. Wait. Oh. We haven't done any of this one. Bring it up. There we go. Okay. And bring it up. Okay. Good. So, this is going to have to go in there, obviously. This is going to have to go sideways. Uh, this is also going to have to go sideways. This is going to go sideways. And this is going to go sideways. And then it goes in to the engine. There we go. Alright, same with this one. Into the engine. Same with this one. Into the engine. And this one. Whoa. Into the engine. Okay. So, that's all of them done. That's coolant. And that is um, fuel. Done. Coolant and fuel. Oh, it's not done. Wait, we need to come to the front. So, uh, essentially the way this is going to have to work is that's going to go up there. 
This is gonna do the same. We're gonna have another one right here go upwards from the side and we're gonna have another one right here Do exactly the same thing. Okay, good. So go to the sides We need that one We don't need that one. Okay, we need this one. All right awesome, which means we need to connect these two To there and that's easy. So we just do this and this we then grab one of these, and we put it there. Alright, cool. Bring this forwards. Put another one of these on. Yes, indeedy. Attach that to the inside. Do the same with this one. Come on. Oh, this is so annoying. It's frustrating when they don't turn. There we go. Alright, cool. So, we've now attached all of the fuels together. That's awesome. And they're all inside here. All we need now is a fluid port for each one of these. And there we go, we got fuel on the inside. Awesome. We're also going to jug the floor the right color, because at the minute it's just not the right color. So, jug all of that. There we go. Good. Yeah. Uh, so, fuel's done. Uh, coolant's done. We just need our exhaust doing, and our air supply as well. Which is annoying, because our funnels are here. Our funnels are, are at the front. Which is really frustrating, actually. Because we need to pipe all the way to the front. And up through here, too. So how many do we have? We've got four exhausts, and we've got two air. All right, that's it. That's all we need to do. So, delete this. Oh, we can't actually delete this backwards. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. All right, actually, we can delete the wall instead. Okay, so, drag this all the way backwards until we get to the engines, about here. Delete there. All right. And then we just need a bunch of pipes going forwards. Yeah, okay. This is fine. Pipe. Do, 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 do. Straight pipe. We're going to make it the same color as the floor, actually. Da, 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 da. Put this right here, going backwards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, we're going to need four of these. Yeah, so one, two, three, and four. Alright, here we go. This is four of these. Awesome. We're going to delete this one as well. There we go. So that's going to go in and up. In, in, in. Uh, they all need to go like sideways though. Which is an issue. Unless we just go further forwards with this one. Delete this. Bring this forwards. And then we can have it go straight up from there. And that's fine. Yeah, okay. Put that back. Uh, fill in that little section right there. There we go. In fact, just... Uh, no, don't delete all of this. Right, cool. The air supply is actually going to run on the inside, though. So that's fine. Right, so we need an angled piece. Do, 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 do. We need that to come in. And we need that to go up. Alright, we need this to go up also. This to go up also. And this to go up as well. Alright, fantastic. So all of these literally just need to go to the roof. There we go. Okay. That one's good. Uh, that one's good. Okie dokie. This one it can only go up to here. And this one can only do the same thing. Okay. So drag this one outwards. Oh, I, I really don't enjoy doing the pipes, to be honest. I don't enjoy doing any of the engine stuff, but that's fine. Right, go sideways. We obviously want this one to go sideways as well. And this one could go straight up from there. This one could go straight up from there. And attach it all together at the tippity top. Alright, there we go. Exhaust. And exhaust. Alright, cool. The last two are actually for our air supply. So drag this down. All the way. Pretty much to there. Good. We need to do the similar thing with this one. Drag it all the way down to almost the bottom. There, alright, delete this one and this one. Good. All we need to do now is attach those to these. And then we need to attach these to the air supply, which is all the way over there. And then we're good. Alright, so there we go. I've attached all the air supply in there. That's completely fine. Alright, so now uh, we need to go downstairs, which is down here. We need to paint all the bottom side this color. There we go. Uh, we might as well do the same with all of these things, because why aren't they anyway? Uh, right, paint that thing as well. Good. 
So the air supply is actually going to run on the inside. Uh, and it's going to be the same color as the ceiling. Uh, which I think is fine. So we'll just do this. Do this. Unbelievable. Come on. Turn. Yeah, go forwards. Okay, we're going to have to bring it through this wall. And we're going to have to bring it all the way down to here. Alright, just leave it there for now. That's okay. We need to do the same thing with this one. All the way down to there. And we need all of these to come in and then fit onto the engines. I think. Yeah. Okay, so first off, we might as well attach the air supplies to where the air supplies need to go. So we're going to do this. Actually, go backwards one. We're going to do this. There we go. And we're going to do this. Alright, that's awesome. So they're going to go sideways. This is going to go to the middle of this engine, obviously. And this is going to go to the middle of this engine. Yes. So this then goes sideways. And then it goes down. This goes sideways. And then it goes down. And... Oh. We actually need to bring it this way one. Is it just one? Yeah. Okay. Bring this downwards. Oh, we don't have enough air, do we? And we've got we've got very little exhaust. Oh god, no, we need double. We need double. So all of these, oh, okay. You know what? With the spare exhaust, we're just going to push it down through the floor. Uh and that should be fine. Yeah, that's what we're actually going to do. We're going to have one exhaust from each engine go out down through the floor, and we're going to have the other exhaust go out through the top. Yes. Okay, I think that'll be fine. Okay, so our air supplies are A-OK -okay like that. However, um, we do need an air supply right here as well for this one, uh, which kind of sucks, actually. It sucks quite a bit because the deck is obviously quite low at the back, uh, and that doesn't really help us in any way whatsoever. Uh, what we could do is delete this and this and just apply a T-pipe. However, there is a problem with this. We're not going to get enough air. In, in both of the engines. So we can do we can do this. But it's probably a bad idea. So probably shouldn't do it. But never mind. Alright, put that there. Good. We're going to drag this upwards to there. We're going to... Whoa. Find this one. Drag this upwards to there. And we need to apply all of those. There we go. Uh, that one's already done. Okay. Oh god, there's so many pipes and things. Uh, this one is obviously going to need one of these. And this one is going to need one of these. And then, from there, we can just go down. Down! Okay. Actually, it's upwards, but you know. Here we go. So, this is going to go up to there. Nice. Uh, and this one's going to do exactly the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Lots of pipes and things are happening. Uh, delete that. Put those in. Alright, so... Let me figure out what's happening here. All we need to do now is attach these pipes to these. That's it. That's all we need to do. All right. So I think I've actually plumbed all of this in. Uh, it doesn't look the best down here. It looks a little bit strange. But essentially, I think we've actually got everything in here uh, that will allow it to actually work, which is perfect. Uh, because we actually do want it to work, which would be great. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do then is we're just going to put a button on every single one of these. Uh, and we're going to make sure that all of them actually turn on and actually work. So, let's do that. Okay, right, here we go. So, uh, we've connected all of those things and that actually seems fine. Go back in here. Actually, I suppose we could actually carry more, couldn't we? So, if we could we could technically carry double this uh, for reasons that um, we can actually double stack them, can't we? So, we wouldn't just be carrying four. We should be able to carry eight, maybe. I suppose what I would say in that situation, actually, is if we have a little look at the outside, uh, the way that it should work is the back two can only ever carry just one each, uh, but you can double stack this one because it's closer to the center, which makes sense, actually. Yeah, that does make sense. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and press this button. Oh, God. Okay, so the engines appear to be working. That one's working. That one's working. 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 Good. This one. Is working. That one's working. Wait, is it? That one's RPS is very low. This one's RPS is fine. That one's RPS is fine. That one's RPS is not working. That one's not working at all. 
Uh, that one's RPS is zero. So that one's not working either. And... Okay, so it's not getting in the air or fuel. That's weird. Okay, I think I've actually fixed it. Let's have a little look at this one. So this one says 20 RPS. That one says 20 RPS. That one says 20 RPS. And the final one over here. What do you say? 20 RPS. All right, cool. So those are working. What about this one? This one's working. That one's working. All right, we've actually got all of the engines running. Uh, and that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, um... That's good. What we need to come up with now is an actual powertrain. So this needs to attach to a gearbox and a clutch. So does this one, so does this one, so does this one, and so do these ones. And then they need to go out of there. So they all need to get pushed out of this one little hole. Um, yeah, I guess that's going to work fine then. So I'm going to end this video here. What I'm going to say is that uh, our stability issues are not fixed yet, uh, but they will be, or they should be soon. Um, we can actually carry the loads that we need to carry, which is this, 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 and this. Uh, and our engines now actually work. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Goodbye.